Here is a clock kit that I bought off of eBay. And if you go on eBay now and you search for, what is it, AT, it's the name of the microcontroller here, AT89C205, if you look for that in clock kit, you're going to find this kit. And something else to look out for is on the PCB, and there should be shots of the PCB in the advertisement on eBay, you want to look for a little 3-volt, 2-pin header down at the bottom here, okay? This kit has an interesting, uh, we'll call it a feature. Um, but to show you that, I need to pop this into this. This is my programmer, a TL8662+. Plus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into my programmer here like so and I need to read the contents of that chip here is the programming software for that programmer that I showed that uh, TL8662 plus and if I come in here and type in the uh, chip that I want to read that I put in there which was a uh, AT89C2 Zero five one. There it is. Click on that. And now, if I click the read button here, it's going to read the contents of the uh, of the flash memory on that chip where the the programming is stored. And you can see on the right here, under where it says ASCII, the contents of the flash memory, and it contains text. It contains assembly language. It contains the source code, or the partial source code, I should say, that should have been used to create the firmware for this uh, clock uh, kit. What, what has happened here is uh, whoever was responsible for ordering these uh, chips pre-programmed, they gave the company the source code file, not the compiled uh, firmware and so the source code was written to all the chips that then got added into this kit so if you assemble the kit correctly you're going to get stuck with a clock kit that doesn't work because your microcontroller contains no programming just a bunch of text that if you had all of it you could compile into the firmware but you don't even have a half of it here now I can save this firmware and then if I bring it into a text editor like so here it is here is the firmware and it includes comments in presumably Chinese telling you what the portion of the code that you see available here uh, does Now, after I wrote my own version of the firmware in C, I started searching the internet trying to see if I could find the source code anywhere, and I found a, a website that did have more of it, not all of it, but more of it, and based off of that, I did actually go and try to write my own replacement firmware in assembly here. Um, in the meantime, I was talking back and forth with one of the uh, the eBay sellers of this kit, and I did, in fact, finally wind up with the full original source code for that firmware, so I could compile this. And I did, and I tested it, and I thought it was crap, so I'm quite happy to stick with the version that I wrote in C, which you can get yourself at my GitHub, which I will have a link to in the description of this video. And in case you're wondering how is it possible to program a microcontroller with text? Well, the microcontroller contains a, a flash memory area on the chip. That's where all the code is stored. That's where the programming is stored. And it's it's like a memory chip. You can put anything you want in there. Um, for example, I can just modify this ever so slightly. Let's there's a semicolon here, that's the beginning of a comment. So 
so I'm just going to overwrite that with 100H instead of 20H. And then I can click P for program. And there it is. It's programmed to the chip now with my modification here. And if I click over to something else here, and if I click back, it clears out this area. I can now read this back. And you can see there's my modification instead of seeing, saying uh, 20H here. And now it says 100H. But I thought that was interesting, the case of the electronic clock kit that did not come with a program on its microcontroller. Instead, it came with the source code for the program on its microcontroller.